Hello. I'm here at Trades Hall, also known as the People's Palace with the Young Workers Centre. Uh, why is it called the People's Palace? Well, you know, back in the 1850s, um, workers and union members were sick of meeting in pubs and they were like, you know what, we deserve a palace, so they built this. There is also a nice pub, to be fair. Who is that? That is um, Helen Robertson. Um, she was the first ever female union leader. Um, she was the union leader of the Tayloresses Union. She sounds cool. She's pretty cool, yeah. All right, final question. Why is it so close to the old Melbourne jail? So, Trades Hall was given this land um, intentionally um, because it's so close to the jail, so that if union members did anything that politicians didn't like, it wouldn't be far to drag them. Nice. Are these bullet holes? Yeah, they are. <laughs> Nice. What happened? Um, back in 1915, these two guys came into trades and they tried to steal um, some of the dues from upstairs in some of the union offices. Um, but there was a big shootout because the police, who were, you know, around the corner, saw that there were some lights on at Trades Hall. Um, and it ended with the two thieves jumping out of the second story windows and eventually getting caught and hung. Nice. Uh, for those playing at home, what is a union? So a union is a group of workers who come together um, to fight to protect their rights, but also to improve their rights too. Sounds like a lot of fun. <laughs> um, do the federated confectioners still exist? Well, unfortunately not. That's because over time, a lot of these unions on this board have actually amalgamated and become bigger unions. Um, so I'm not too sure what you'd be, what union you'd be in these days <laughs> if you're a confectioner. And what is the Young Workers Centre? So we're an organisation that exists to help young people under the age of 30 if they're experiencing any sort of workplace issue. Um, but we also um, do a bit more than that. We organise a lot of events and campaigns um, which aim to get young people involved in the union movement. Sick. Where are we now? So this is executive room. This is where like the big heads of the unions come and have you know, their fights over all the sorts of issues that we face as a movement, because this is representing many, many workers, many, many unions. Um, and yeah, this also has meetings for other people as well if they yeah. want to use it. I think it's cool that like me as a random can come sit at this table and I could definitely not do that in Parliament House. I think that's pretty, pretty sick. Yep. Um, I guess this is the people's, this exactly. is the workers' place. That yeah. You're welcome. It's everyone's. Workers. Is. So, one question, though, why is there a bowl of water in the middle of the table? Um, that is to keep the table from buckling. So there's water, that's someone's job to fill up that water bowl um, every week and it stops the wood from getting too dry and buckling. Technology. Technology. <laughs> uh, what is going on with the carpet? Yes, yeah, so we've got wheat and roses, and that's to represent the slogan bread and roses, which is the idea of, you know, workers aren't just fighting for the ability to survive, they're fighting for the good life as well. So roses represent all of the things you don't technically need to survive, but make life, you know, a beautiful one. Love that. Um, what about the eight? So the um, trades hall has eights everywhere actually. We've got eight pillars out the front. Um, we've got a real obsession with the number eight and it was because um, when the eight hour movement won, they really had it as a symbol of like, this is our vision for the world, one of like a life of balance and dignity and you know, the ability to set our own kind of conditions. Um, so that's why we, we love the eights. For those playing at home who might not know, what does the eight hour movement represent? So eight hours for work, eight hours for rest, and eight hours for recreation. So workers um, who built this building uh, and who fought to have this building um, often worked, you know, really long hours. They um, didn't have any say over their lives. They didn't even have education. Um, public education wasn't a thing. Um, so that was something that they fought for. Love it. So what's happening at Trades Hall on the 26th of October? We're going to be talking about rentals and the, up the upcoming hot summer. So we're going to have you, hopefully. Um, <laughs> we're going to have sweltering cities. We're going to have someone from Rahu. And we're going to talk about uh, what young people can do collectively to make sure we don't, you know, struggle through the hot summer while paying hundreds in a increased rent. 
Sick, join your union. Almost a million, my account, I'm $80 away. Hey, 